So most people like to drink hot coffee on days like this. I went ahead and got a coffee shake from Whataburger. It feels like Seattle. They brew a lot of coffee in Seattle. So, shake? I don't know where I'm going with this. So if you please can leave me 25 likes on this review. Technically, it's another drink review that I'm doing, but... <laughs> I'm, I'm just not up to it yet. I'm still calling it. I'm still calling it a food review. So whatever she decides to do her review, it's going to be drink reviews. But as of right now, it's still Colin Paul Chops food reviews. So without further ado, let go. What's going on, my little pig? What's at your BFF Pork Chop here? And I'm coming at you with another food review, even though it's technically a drink review. So it's like a drink review inside a food review that's actually a drink review but it's a food review yes here at whataburger 34th and coulter. 34th and coulter i'm used to going to the one on 45th so it's <laughs> backwards right now for me i came to whataburger to try the coffee shake it kind of smells like coffee and it's sticky that's always good sticky and smells like coffee <laughs> oh my gosh this is an amarillo white girl <laughs> oh my god a small will ring up $2.69 before tax. Coming at you live, 3D. Oh, surprise attack. And the quarterback is toast as she eats a fry. Look at this, Just this straw is overcompensating like crazy. <laughs> Two, that's what she said jokes in here. Ooh. Two. Ooh, stepping up my game on this review. It looks like a chocolate shake, smells like coffee. So, without further ado, salut. Baby, mm -hmm. this is a frappuccino. <laughs> I mean, that's usually what a coffee shake is. <laughs> Whataburger is serving frappuccinos and they're just not telling people. That is a frappuccino. Mm -mm. There's more ice cream in it. Well, it's pretty much a frappuccino. A thicker frappuccino. Yeah, it's really creamy. Oh, there's a lot of coffee. Uh, there's a lot. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Because coffee is... Coffee and I are one of those things, like, one day we're best friends, the next day we're mortal enemies, and they give me headaches, and they hate me. So, like, anytime I go to McDonald's and try their coffee, I hate myself every single time. So, we'll see how this treats me. I just got to drink it slowly and consistently and not just like chug it. What do you think? He has to get it back with me first though. Yeah. She likes it. You like it? She likes it. So she approves of it. I really, really like the texture of this one. It is very creamy. It tastes like maybe they used coffee ice cream to mix it. I don't know. It is very creamy. It tastes really good. The thing that I'm not loving about it, the aftertaste tastes like straight coffee beans. Mm -hmm. I can, I can taste and that. that's, I don't like straight coffee beans. I don't like dark coffee. I like white girl coffee. My idea of coffee is two creams, two sweet loaves. Oh no, I like all the fancy stuff in it. I want caramel hazelnut. Like the caramel hazelnut coconut. Yep. Yep. Whipped cream. With no, chocolate. not whipped cream. I don't like whipped cream. Chocolate drizzle. Chocolate drizzle is okay, but no whipped cream. I don't like whipped cream. And she's gonna get me back. She's gonna get me back. Oh, oh, oh burn! Oh, man. Burn! Oh, blah, blah, blah. We have a healthy relationship. Um, just kidding. Oh man, I am in the. Uh oh, see, so it's one more try. Oh, right there. It would have been cooler if it stuck in my ear. It'd have been cooler if it just looked like. Oh. They gave us too many straws. Like it did. Why did they give us another one? <laughs> I don't know, but I put a hole in this. They one. gave us four straws <laughs> for three drinks. Are you guys trying to kill me here at Whataburger? All right, here we go again. We're gonna need a bigger boat. I like it. It's a new gimmick. It's something new to try. It's a new venture for this Whataburger boy. I love Whataburger. And uh, I'd like to think that I would eat almost anything on the menu, if not everything, all at once in a blender. Just kidding. That was disgusting. So, I mean, it's a new thing to try. So, if you have a Whataburger, I recommend you try it and then give me your rating for it. Like I said, it's, it's touch and go with me and coffee related beverages. I think this one's going to be a negative because I'm already getting like a, I'm already getting burps and hiccups from it. So, He's so cute. <laughs> so I can tell that this is not going to be a friend of mine. So this might be something that I will get on occasion and not every single time I go to Whataburger. So other than that, it's not a bad product. Have you tried it? 
Let me know what your overall rating is. It has baby love seal of approval, I guess. Eh, I mean, I'd say eight out of ten. Okay. The aftertaste is a real problem for me, but I'm gonna keep drinking it. Yeah, but on a scale, I'm just gonna give it to her. Cause on a scale of one to ten piglets, I'm gonna have to give the coffee shake from Whataburger. I'm probably gonna have to give this one about a six out of ten. Docked because it is a new gimmick. It's pretty much a creamy or frappuccino in disguise, much thicker frappuccino in disguise. And uh, coffee and I have a love-hate relationship. And this is definitely a hate in the relationship. Guys, once again, have you tried the coffee shake from Whataburger? What is your favorite thing to get at Whataburger? And let me know down below. And if you could please leave those 25 likes, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, subscribe to become a piglet. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and Snapchat. All those links are down in the description. And always remember, my little piglets, call them Fort Chop. Loves y'all the most. This y'all take it easy, guys. And I will see y'all next time. Ta -da -da. Bye, guys. Yeah, quick one. You want to kiss the end it? Kiss. Mm -hmm.